Hello and welcome to Enrico video podcast series for the MS 2090A Field Master Pro, our new premium handheld spectrum analyzer. My name is Maxim Put, an FIE within the ENT team of Enrico EMEA. Today's session covers graphical user interface experience of an MS 2090A. Since we've launched this product with a completely new user interface for the handheld instrument, you will learn how this incorporates a future-proof user interaction. We will start with a product introduction, then follow it by an uh, overview of a touchscreen GUI, live demo with a remotely connected instrument, and conclusion in the end. So the MS2090A Fieldmaster Pro is a synthesizer-based handheld signal analyzer that provides quick and accurate measurement results. The instrument is designed for monitoring, measuring, and analyzing signal environments. A 10.1 inches capacitive touchscreen enables fast, easy data entry. Options are available for RF, advanced demodulation, and over-the-air measurements. The measurements can easily be made by using the main instrument functions like frequency, span, amplitude, and bandwidth. Also, upper and lower multi-segmented limit lines are available to create quick, simple pass-fail measurements. A full range of marker capabilities, such as peak, center, and delta functions, are provided for faster, more comprehensive analysis of displayed signal. So what are we targeting with this product? Several markets are going to be working towards interference hunting and spectrum clearing, broadcast transmitter analysis, any sort of microwave radio links, also including activity in 28 and 39 gigahertz range also for 5G, satellite systems, and of course 5G and R base station measurements and coverage mapping. We have seven frequency models, 9, 14, 20, 26.5, 32, 43.5, and 54 gigahertz range. So the idea is here that with this full frequency coverage, we are providing no gaps, no misses for a user. Connectors, uh, we have uh, rigidized and up to 20 gig, up to 43.5, this is rigidized K, and 54 gigahertz, it's rigidized V connector. We also protect all of these connectors with a rubber overmold. So from the top view connectors, we have a ref input, intermediate frequency output, we have configurable reference and trigger ports, bias voltage, GNSS port and two USB ports on top. Then from a side view, with this open door here, more USB type 3 and type C, we have a LAN port that's 10, 100,000 base T PCI Express. This is port for high speed data streaming like IQ data. Then micro SD to expand the storage and auxiliary phone jack for a sound. We also have an integrated tilt bail or bracket for easy bench use. So the screen. This is a touch screen product. With this product, we make sure this is field ready. The touch screen itself is 1280 by 800 resolution high brightness, it is chemically strengthened, so it is impact and scratch resistant and has anti-reflective coating. We also created a new touch screen with a friendly user interface. So this is multi-touch GUI that is developed based on Google touch screen standards. A set of standards by Google for apps that they recommend for things like a size of a touch area, the way that certain icons functions are interact with each other, so it's meant to be familiar to people who are used to using touchscreen systems. We have functions like pinch to zoom and expand. So if you're looking at the signal, you can drag that signal from left to right with your finger. Or you can pinch to zoom in to that signal or zoom out. And you can also use your finger to touch markers, limit lines, all the things that you would expect with a touchscreen instrument. We also build this new platform on a Linux-based operation system. So it's future-proof and reliable. A quick overview on a touch screen. On the right-hand side, you have your menu buttons, typical of what you would expect in a spectrum analyzer in this mode here. Then you have your data frame where you have information on the actual data that you are plotting. On the left, your status panel with some of the quick access to settings and ability to change and adjust some of the measurements. And then on top, you have the information bar where on the right hand side you have the information on your time and date, uh, sound, uh, GNSS, Wi-Fi, battery status, 
on the left hand side you have your menus so the first thing your system menu or your hamburger menu these three lines when you push that button it brings this screen here where you can access your system information your settings file manager diagnostics and help system from the app drawer when you click there you can switch between the different modes so you can go from spectrum analyzer mode to 5g in a less than five, five seconds for example we have no hardware buttons fully touch screen and fully modern user interface and now going into the demo session so the ms 2090 a field master pro software controls all instrument functions the software runs locally on the instrument and primary operation is through the touch screen display uh, for this demo i'll be using remote control software i've already launched the ms 2090a software from a shortcut on my desktop and basically did installation previously you can find the ms 2090a software on our website at anritsu.com and typing in ms2090e in the search area and finding the download page for the ms2090e resources. So what I'm going to do now is to type in the IP address of the ms2090e sitting right on my desk, which is manually configured under the Ethernet headings of the instrument. And now we have a spectrum tray sweeping at 43.5 GHz, the frequency option I have for the demo, at about 2.3 seconds. The user interface consists of menus, buttons, toolbars and dialog boxes. With these menu buttons I can hit the same one and close that particular item to get the screen view wider or I can go to other menus. So quick overview, on top we have a title bar which provides quick access to the system settings and informational dialogs. The status and trace panel is used to show common settings and controls and to provide trace and cursor information. Menus are used to configure measurement settings such as frequency, amplitude and bandwidth and to enable measurement modes and views such as spectrogram view, occupied bandwidth, adjacent channel power and spectrum emission mask measurements. The main menu provides access to setting menus and other instrument controls. The upper area typically displays graphical data such as spectrum trace and spectrogram plots. And the lower area typically displays tabular measurement data such as marker data, demodulation results or other measurement data depending on the selected measurement. So just running through those many options in brief so you can see all the different capabilities that we can do with the product. Of course you can save and recall. We can save on event when we cross the limit line or the sweeps complete or a particular interval. So Fieldmaster Pro uses common touch gestures to achieve a variety of operations. These include interactions on hot areas by pressing, double pressing, dragging or pinching. So you can drag items such as markers, limit line nodes and the center frequency by dragging the trace to the left or right. In some cases menus, status panels or other lists contain more information than can be displayed in the available area. In these cases the top or bottom of the panel will have a fade to white appearance as shown here. You can scroll the control to move it up or down and expose the hidden information. When an instrument function requires you to enter text, such as entering an Ethernet host name, a touchscreen alphabetic keyboard is displayed. You can see down here the key named EZ, which switches to configurable Easy Keyboard. Use the Easy Keyboard to enter frequently used text strings with a single screen tab. The Easy Keyboard is initially populated with default values. Each key enters the entire string as shown on a key. For convenience you can set an automatic separator character to be placed between the each Easy Key string. So let's then focus on the frequency span amplitude and bandwidth commands. 
I'm going to use FM radio band for the demo. So here on the right hand side, where the menu buttons are, I want to click the frequency and span menu button, and going to change my span to 20 MHz. Now again I could have used my finger on the touch screen of Stellis, or using the mouse as I am doing here, or even my Numero keyboard on my laptop. Also I would use the plus or minus buttons here, which change in a 1, 2, 5 fashion. Center frequency, same thing. I can click up here and plus and minus buttons, and value would be based on the frequency step value that is placed here. But I also want to show you that I can change the center frequency down here as well. I will change it to 98 MHz. Also here you can see gesture settings for toggle on or off drag and pinch gestures. So lock in center frequency and span settings. That can be useful for example when dragging markers and not to interfere when accidentally changing center frequency on span values. We on to amplitude menu. I want to get the lower noise floor and in order to do that I will decrease the reference level and use minus 40. Now I am also able to turn on preamp in the RF chain. I can also account for reference level offset. And that could be for external gain or external attenuation. We are on to the bandwidth and RBW. I can change this in a 1, 3, 10 fashion. The hashtag in front of the value indicates that I'm in manual mode now. As an example, I can switch back it to auto mode. So basically, you can use almost any arbitrary value for RBW if you have particular settings that you prefer to work with. As example, 1.25. And same thing with video bandwidth. You can set this to nearly whatever you want. 1.96 kHz. Then I can switch to spectrogram view, for example, and change or adjust the color scale to have a better representation of the signal. So next example on a live LT signals. First thing we can look at is what we can see on the screen without any menu buttons activated. Here on the bottom right corner we can see the sweep time, like in this example 165 milliseconds, 501 data points being dis displayed. So this example we can put auto mode for RBW VBW to decrease the sweep time improve the sweep speed and we also can increase the number of data points for finer frequency resolution of your trees going to max value of 4001 for example then on the left hand side we can see we are on a continuous sweep mode I can toggle that and go into a single mode and go back and also sweep once for example I see that I have six traces and only trace one is running as clear and bright trace with a peak detector and I can see T1 again illustrates as a clear right trace mode. So going into the sweep menu I can go back again to continuous mode. So sweep to 10 here it is if I'm doing average or rolling max mean holds. As an example, let's change trace 2 to an average and blank out trace 1 and set average count to 500, for example. So I'm going back to the sweep menu, toggle to continuous and back to single. I can see here I've already counted for some amount of traces. And if I wanted to stop at the end of 500 traces, I hit the sweep to 500 here in menu. 
Now you can see the sweep count on the left side coming up to the set 500 traces. Moving over to the trace detection, we can have up to 6 traces. Well, and they can be different types of detection like average, mean hold, max hold, rolling max hold, mean hold and rolling average. I can set for example 4 traces and set them to different types of function modes. Like clear right, mean hold, max hold and average. Going back and making 3 traces averaging and trace 4 blank out. We'll zoom in a little bit on this with a scale per division 2 dBs. Moving amplitude to minus 50 dBm. And then let's turn on different detector types. And you can see the effects of different detectors having on the traces. I can preset detectors, all of them go to peak as a default value. Preset traces now have trace 1 active and rest are blank out. I can even do the mode preset to default state. So that was a brief overview of a powerful and future-proof graphical user interface of our new platform. So as a conclusion, the Fieldmaster Pro MS2090A from Enritzer is a new standard in handheld spectrum analyzers. The platform has full frequency coverage up to 54 GHz, full suit for 5G and R base station analysis, real-time spectrum analyzer with a wide bandwidth of 100 MHz, and wide capacitive touchscreen, which enables future-proof so-called man-machine user interaction. It also rigid industrial design, a reliable hardware platform. So we are now at the end of this video podcast about Fieldmaster Pro graphical user interface experience. And thank you very much indeed for your time and attention. For more information, please visit andritsu.com.